UT Extension Agent Jason Evans here, and today I want to talk to you about, about taking a soil sample. Lots of times we'll get producers maybe that have never taken a soil sample, or lots of homeowners, especially this year, uh, with new gardens and things uh, going in, and people having more time to take care of their lawns or even starting a garden. How do I take a soil sample? <clears throat> taking a soil sample is very easy. Uh, you can use a soil probe, uh, similar to this one. Uh, you can use a sh shovel. Uh, like this, either one of those uh, you can use to take a soil sample. But <clears throat> doesn't matter which tool you use. Uh, is you also you'll need a bucket to collect your cores in or to collect your sub samples uh, from the shovel. So uh, we've went out today, I've collected samples from our garden, I've collected uh, one sample from the field down the road, um, and so once you take your samples, you may want a screwdriver uh, like this, you want to take your samples uh, around six inches deep, um, <clears throat> but you only want the bottom portion of that sample, so we want those samples uh, taken from the root zone, uh, maybe that four to six inch range of that sample, and so you'll need a screwdriver lots of times if you use one of these core samplers to wreck it out and to put it into your bucket and so <clears throat> then once you have a group of samples uh, those sub samples is then when you want to mix them up well how many samples do we need a lot of times you get uh, we ask well how many do I need to take uh, typically we say one uh, total soil sample is good for 10 acres um, and so if you're going to sample more than 10 acres we recommend in taking more than one soil sample well then, what makes up a soil sample? A soil sample can be made up of any number of subsamples, and so usually we recommend a minimum of 10 subsamples or 10 little small cores uh, per acre. Uh, but depending on the value of the crop, you may want to take more or less. Uh, just like in this garden here, our garden is very small, you can see it behind me. Um, and so we took 10 uh, core samples from that garden and then we take those subsamples and we mix them up and we break them down uh, before we put them into our soil sample boxes. A uh, soil sample box like this can be picked up uh, at your UT Extension office. And so you, it, it'll be flat when you get it. You fold it into place uh, and then you can put your soil sample in it and it'll be ready to mail uh, like this. <clears throat> and so uh, it's important, the more is uh, as we take those core samples and those subsamples, uh, the more of those samples that you can get uh, throughout the field, uh, the better that your total soil sample will be. If you just go out into a 10 acre field and you pull one core from the middle of that field um, and then you mix that core up, break it down and put it in your soil sample box, uh, your sample is not very representative of that area. Just like if I went to my garden and I pulled one sample out of that garden, well, uh, my soil may, not, may be really good or really bad in that one sample. Uh, so it's important to take multiple small core samples or sub-samples if you're using a sh shovel. Uh, make sure you take several samples. Even if you're doing your flower beds around your home, it's go all the way through those flower beds, pull in those samples, mix those samples up, and that way you have one representative composite sample that you put in your soil sample box. And so uh, as you watch this video, you'll see an example of the two acre field that I've done. Uh, I usually like to do a zigzag pattern when I go out in the farm uh, and I, I'll start on one edge and I kind of go move around on that edge. And then as I start across back and forth across that field in a zigzag pattern, if you want to be extremely organized, you can lay off a grid and you can take so many steps between each sample. Uh, that's up to you. Uh, so, and especially with high value crops like tobacco, uh, maybe even vineyards or orchards, uh, we'll take uh, a lot more subsamples uh, because we want to have a very good fertility program on those high value crops. Um, even on row crops, uh, we can we do those. They take those on a grid sample method now uh, using GPS locations for those samples. Uh, and then we have a representative sample for each acre. So, uh, once you have those samples, uh, Uh, is then you want to mix them up really well. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to break these cores down and I'm going to mix them up uh, really well. And then so once they're mixed up and I've got all the pieces broken out, I've got some of the roots and some of the grass and material, um, is then we have those broken down. 
and then we have a really fine mixed sample uh, ready to go in uh, to our soil sample box. And then our soil samples can be sent into the UT. Uh, you can take them to your local extension agent. Um, as an extension office is right now, we're, uh, as those offices are working on a limited basis, and so you may not be able to get into those offices. But you can still mail your sample in to the Soil Planet Pest Center in Nashville. Uh, you can stay tuned on this video to see the address that you can mail your sample to.